It's Sunday, the 1st of May, 2022. A happy May Day to you. Or, in some countries, it's Labour Day. I've been having sort of a researchy kind of day. I've been inspired. I don't know what inspired me. Maybe it's just like really nice weather today. It's not hot, it's not cold, there's a gentle breeze. And I've been spending a lot of the day sort of doing research outside. In fact, just here, my computer is down by my side here. And this is what I found on Twitter. This is an old video from 2020. So getting close to like two years old. I'm not too sure what month in that year. But this was a Chinese citizen who lives in Australia. Not too sure of her uh, residency or she's got PR, which is permanent residence, or she just whatever. And she set up a Twitter account, supposedly. And then a Chinese policeman calls her on FaceTime using, I presume, her father's phone, saying that you got um, the truth about China, for example. And they are asking her, well, sort of demanding her to come back home, come back to China. When does your visa finish? You can see the video in a moment or two. And the police have basically taken her father from his home and so, like blackmail, so to speak, and say, so we got your father for his safety. And the policeman was like incredibly cold, heartless, with no soul. And this is what it's like. Even if you're a Chinese citizen, even if you live in America or Australia or the UK, you have to be careful that you don't post anything bad on international social media related to something negative about China. And it is actually, this video, really shocking indeed. I'm going to play the video and I would love to hear your comments in the, obviously, the comment form below. This is the authority, the authoritarian state of China. They don't want any bad news and I think they really absolutely loathe social media because it's something that they're trying to control. But to be really honest with you, they're actually failing in this scenario. Have a look at this video. That brings us to a close for this video. It was interesting, shocking and interesting. And this is my new channel. Well, it's not a new channel. It's a revamp channel. And I'm trying to get the hours so I can get the money that YouTube owes me, which is about $1,600 because it got demonetized last year. But the money is still owed to me if I can get up to 4,000 hours. So it's all about China. I don't post very often here. But do take your time to have a look at some other videos on my channel. It's really going to help. I'm not asking for any kind of support in the way of sponsorship or finance or details like that. I just want a click. I just want the hours of views. My name is James. This is All About China. And thank you so much for your time. Have a good day wherever you are in the world. Bye-bye for now.